This is my smartphone, or shall I say my dumb phone, or is it my smart dumb phone? I've designed it to minimize distractions, imitate the look of a dumb phone, while still remaining the functionality of a smartphone. Unlike smartphones that bombard us with notifications and addictive social media, dumb phones give simplicity and control over our digital lives. They allow you to disconnect, set boundaries and find peace of mind. I first encountered one with a video from Matt Diavella. Why would anyone want this as a phone was my first thought. I watched the video and moved on. It was not until a few months later that I discovered an app that could help you minimize the use of your phone. And so I did it. I actually decreased my daily usage from one hour and a half to almost half an hour a day, and mainly on messages and maps. You may be wondering why the hell would I want to do that on my phone? I mean, I like my phone. Well, when you're actually constantly being distracted, you forget to live in the present. You forget to enjoy what you do. So why I did it, it's mainly because of three very important reasons. The first one is I wanted to enjoy more outside activities. I wanted to go out more. I wanted to do more things. And I felt like my screen time was restricting me from that. I was spending way too much time on my screen while the weather outside was sunny and there was nice weather. So in the end, I ended up trying to find different ways of simplifying my approach to going outside. At first, I did the social media. I made a video about it. I first, I then, uh, I then minimized the look of my phone. I made a video about it, and it was not until I actually found uh, making my phone a dumb phone that I dis I actually went outside and enjoyed more my day-to-day -day activity and my life. I would say. Well, I was feeling that I was wasting my time on my phone doing different things, whether it was watching YouTube or just listening to music. I felt that I could do other things with my time. For example, instead of sitting on the couch and scrolling, I would quickly tidy up something or I would make my day ready for the next day, my clothes ready for the next day, or I would even cook a meal or bake a cake or just read a book. There were plenty of different things that I started doing and I actually ended up doing just because my phone became dumb. And it's not that I was dumb while being with my phone, but I had to actually dumb down my phone in order not to make it as addictive. I mean, Facebook and Instagram and all social media hire engineers that are actually called attention engineers to hook you up, to stay you addicted, to make you addicted to the app and actually make you stale and scroll through hours. So how would I, a simple person, compete against them? Basically just making it impossible to stay hooked. And how do you do that? Just by making your dumb phone, your phone dumb. Another reason of why I actually did it was because I wanted to be more present. So I felt that if I was at some, someone's place, a friend's place, I would be checking my phone or checking my messages. If I would be at the gym, I would be perhaps scrolling or watching a video just to optimize my time. And not that I was just working out, but I was also watching a podcast or watching a YouTube video coming up with ideas. In the end, that what generated was that I couldn't come up with creative ideas, I couldn't come up with anything, and I was not fully being present in the moment. While being present in the moment, I actually made some gains, if you can call it like that, on my gym. I started lifting heavier, I started being more present and make that connection mind-body in the gym. If I was at a friend's house, I was actually fully committed to my friend and listening to what he was saying, having an actual conversation with him. If I was with my girlfriend on, or my dog on a walk, we would just be fully on the walk talking and be enjoying the present moment instead of being on the app on my phone, whether it's checking my emails or watching YouTube or even Instagram, checking what other people were doing. I made another video of why I didn't want social media and why I'm now on social media again, but that's for another purpose. And actually, I don't have social media on the phone just because I think that it's a distraction from my goals. So this is how my phone looks like. I have the date on the top with widgets that you can actually change. So I have, for example, my calendar, some YouTube music, just because I like music and weather app. You can modify this and you can just stack um, widgets that you want. You can even have no widgets. I then have my phone, Notion, WhatsApp, Waze, and my bank. And that's it. I don't have anything else on this phone. 
if I want to, I can have go slide to the right, and then I can have other apps. Uh, I don't know, let's say that I want to do Safari, whatever. I can just even scroll down and look it up. I find that the, the phone gets the functionality of a smartphone while still looking like a dumb phone. It looks aesthetic and I don't have anything. I literally have my five most used app, which is my phone. I have my Notion just because I track my work out there and I have come up with ideas and in the moment I just want to write them fast. I have WhatsApp, which is the app I use for messaging, Waze, just because I like it, more than Google Maps and the Maps app and Bank, because it's easy to transfer money this way. And you can actually modify how it looks like. There's this app called Blank. You can modify the apps that you have. You can add other apps. You can modify the way it looks, customize your widgets, customize um, whether you have a light, color, whether it adapts, um, what the top widget looks like. You can select the date, the blank, the time, the temperature. You can change the modify the fonts. You can do everything. And the app is actually not expensive. You can buy, I think it's for six or seven dollars for a month, or you can buy the lifetime subscription for seven dollars, 20, 22 dollars, sorry. And that's what I did actually. I ended up buying the app after trying it for seven days, just because one, I got used to it, I enjoyed it. And I think that this way I'm using my phone more intentional than any other way. I'll uh, pop up here and here, my before and after times uh, on the week using my phone. And I think that you could benefit from it while still remaining your phone with full functionality. It's not for everyone, I have to admit, so give it a try with a seven day trial. Uh, I'll leave the link on the app below. I don't get any money from it. I'm just trying to help you out in a sense. And I think that dumbing your phone down, down, it's probably one of the best decisions you can do for one, your productivity, two, your mental health, and three, actually living and being in the present more. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed it, just don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.